Hello everyone, please welcome my model today, Christiana. I'm going for an effortless summer makeup, perfect for the holidays. Bringing some warmth onto the eyes by applying a wash of shimmery bronzer to the lids. That way I can map out the shape that I'm going for and take it from there. Now that I have my basic shape and seamlessly blended edges, I'm wetting my brush with a setting spray and dipping it into the same bronzer for a more saturated application. For an illusion of thicker lashes, I'm working a brown coal liner as close as I can into the lash line. I'm using a soft pencil that doesn't set too fast so that I have time to blend it out. I'm blending the coal liner and I'm pulling it out ever so slightly. I don't want a wing, I'm just looking for a very soft outward sweep to complement her already beautiful eye shape. Before carrying on with the rest of the makeup, I like to clean up any eyeshadow fallout with Bioderma's micellar water, an absolute staple in my kit. You can't have enough mascara for this look, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple of layers for added drama. I'm going to carry on and do the exact same on the other eye. Now that both eyes are done, I'm going to move on to complexion and I'm going to go ahead and apply my favorite, favorite moisturizer. It's called Belayda Skin Food and I'm applying that to the high points of the face. It's a very rich moisturizer and I love using this as a primer for makeup. I want the foundation to be as natural as possible, so I'm applying a very sheer foundation to even out the skin tone, and I'm really buffing it in. I'm applying the smallest amount of concealer to cover up small blemishes or discoloration here and there. During summer it's always a good idea to use less product if you can. The more product you use, the more likely it is to melt and move around on the skin in this heat.
It's all about radiant and glowing skin this summer, so I'm using an illuminator with a slight bronze tone to warm up the face. I'm using the same product for lips and cheeks today. I find that using a lipstick on the cheeks gives the skin a gorgeous natural glow. I'm also adding a touch of it to the bridge of the nose for a youthful sun-kissed effect. While I'm at it, I'm adding the same color to the lips as well. I'm using my fingers, I'm not being too precious about the application. Groomed yet natural brows are a major thing this summer and Christiana's got a beautiful brow shape already so I'm just going to brush them through with a clear brow gel. I want to finish off the eye, so I'm using the same bronzer as I used on the eyelids to define the lower lash line as well. We've achieved beautifully bronzed and glowing skin and I don't want to take away from it. So I'm using what I think is probably my favorite product of all time, Ray Morris's Invisible Mattifier to knock back shine in unwanted places without losing the glow. I'm focusing a lot on current trends for summer and as far as trends go, matte lips are out. So to finish off this makeup look, I'm adding a tinted lip balm to add a comfortable gloss to the lips.